Good evening and welcome to the Susquehanna University Symphony Orchestra's Fall 2020 concert. As you can see, it is a, as an orchestra concert like no other. Uh, I think it's uh, fitting that we have a hybrid concert for you for a time in which hybrid performances and hybrid conferences are just the lay of the land. Uh, we're going to have a number of performances presented to you tonight via a recording of some of the performances the orchestra has done over the course of this last uh, semester, and we have some live goodies uh, for you as well. Uh, we look forward to uh, presenting a wide array of music, uh, backing all the way back up to this past summer, uh, all the way up through this past week. Uh, if you are interested in looking at the program order, you can find that at suorchestras.com slash program. We welcome everybody to visit suorchestras.com slash program. We're going to open with a project that spanned last year and this. Of course, it was a tough semester for a lot of us who were, we were in the midst of a, uh, a very fruitful and productive and happy uh, spring semester when uh, COVID first reared its ugly head and we all went to spring break and we just somehow never came back. Uh, but while the orchestra was uh, cast to the four corners, uh, we did do some uh, work together in the form of a virtual orchestra project. And that project premiered uh, the week of uh, the beginning of this semester. So it's only fitting that we uh, open our concert tonight with a viewing of our very first performance, so to speak, of the semester uh, with the alma mater, which it was written by E. Edwin Sheldon and arranged by E. A. Hendershot. Throughout all the ups and downs these past few months have brought us one thing is for sure, Susky music lives on. This regal anthem uh, serves to remind us that the Susquehanna is not just a university, but a home. With a proud marsh-like melody, the alma mater is a noble tribute to all students, faculty, and staff who make Susquehanna community so special. No matter what the world throws in our way, the Riverhawk family will adapt, overcome, and soar to success. Go Riverhawks! has been a challenging year by any standard, but at the Susquehanna University Symphony Orchestra, we know one thing's true. Susky music lives on. 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 Susky music lives on.
Monticello. And next we're going to be hearing uh, Ludwig von Beethoven Symphony No. 7 in A Major, Movement 2, Allegretto. On December 8, 1813, Beethoven, one of the most revolutionary and admired composers in Western music, prepared Symphony No. 7 in A Major at a co charity concert for soldiers. Allegretto, the second movement of the symphony and the one you'll hear tonight, was so well received that an encore was immediately demanded. After the performance, Beethoven noted that this was one of his best works. Now over 200 years old, Allegretto has been popular ever since. From the mixing melodies, motion, and a dash of mystery, it is through Allegretto that we are able to access the heart of the great composer, Beethoven.
Gideon, and I'm a sophomore music education major with a concentration in voice, and I'm also Susquehanna University's orchestra's concert master. First of all, I want to thank you all again for attending this concert. It really means a lot to us that we are all here together. Even though there were some challenges in, that we had to overcome from COVID-19, we as an ensemble were still able to adapt in a new way of being and are still able to perform and work together to create music no matter what. The next piece we will be hearing is Born This Way. Amit Dress, the Super Bowl halftime show, A Star Is Born, and the queen of grand entrances, Lady Gaga's hit song, Born This Way, is sure to get your foot tapping to the electro-pop beat. Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanata, you know Gaga's name, right? Created Born This Way as a freedom song in support for minorities and members of the LGBTQ community. A Billboard Top 100 hit, Gaga's song is packed with a powerful club-ready beat, made to put you in a cheerful state of mind. While listening to, not, to tonight's rendition, remember, be proud of who you are, because baby, you were born this way. Susquehanna and a member of the uh, Susquehanna Orchestra staff. Um, I'm excited to talk to you today about the, this year's orchestra values. So the orchestra and staff felt it was important for the orchestra to have a set of guiding principles that would reflect our mission and goals. Um, I've had a lot of experience in different musical and academic groups and have seen how different value statements have reflect um, the mission of an organization. For example, in my involvement with the ROTC program, on campus, um, their values are leadership, um, or loyalty, discipline, respect, selfless service, honesty, integrity, personal courage. While working with the orchestra, Professor Smith, um, I was personally um, struck by everyone's passion and involvement within this organization. So I'm excited to announce that this year's uh, values are CODA, or community, originality, diversity, and artistry. So, community represents that the orchestra is de dedicated to creating a culture of musical excellence, tolerance, and giving back to the Susquehanna community through service, service and performance. Or originality means that we value working from a large range of repertoire and styles to create a unique listening experience for our audience. Diversity means that we are diverse in our members and um, repertoire, open to new musical ideas and people in our quest to grow as an organization. Artistry means that we are dedicated to growing as musicians to pre prepare our members for both future professionals and um, for our own personal musical journeys. Thank you for the support of this orchestra. Enjoy the rest of the concert.
written by Leslie Bercuzzi and Anthony Newley, Pure Imagination from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, is a piece that has inspired me, and I'm sure many of you, since childhood. As an adult, I see that music is a key to the imagination, and that includes imagining a better, more peaceful world for all of us to live in. Symphony No. 4 portrays the sanguine spirit of the American people. Still was the first African-American composer to conduct a professional symphony in the United States. Like many of his pieces, Autochtonous gains its influence from jazz bands, Afro-American culture, and the idea that music has roots in our own soil, amplifying the American spirit. Saturated with humorous melodies and rhythms, Autochtonous is the perfect song to describe the American mentality.
to uh, uh, kind of a unique kind of a concert performance slash screen. We have uh, one last piece for you, and we love it so much, we're going to play it twice for you. Alex Shapiro wrote a wonderful piece titled Passages. As our world continues to rapidly change and we traverse a, an un its uncharted waters, Passages offers peaceful, meditative, and whimsical sounds to transport you to a calm and centered state of mind. Working in tandem with an audio track, Alex Shapiro, her piece seamlessly melds the two worlds of technology and music to create one harmonious unity. Composed for a various number of instruments, each phrase is uniquely beautiful as musicians have the freedom to choose their selection of melodies and rhythms and even unpicked percussion to create the soothing sounds you hear tonight. So unclench your jaw, relax your shoulders, take in a deep breath, and release the tension in your body as you let the tranquil sounds of Alex Shapiro through Goku. This is Passages. <laughs> 